Hi guys, welcome to another video. I am so excited to shoot this video today. I have my little baby with me. He's so cute. I love him so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. So today I'm going to be talking about my birth story. I know that I showed you guys a little bit of the experience in the hospital and giving birth to my son Dit and Knox. I'm going to do a little bit more of an in-depth story today. Um, because yeah it was such an experience and I don't ever want to forget it and I want to kind of prepare anyone who is currently pregnant or and about to give birth um it is no joke but it's also an amazing experience overall I don't want to give too much away but um yeah, let's just get straight into the video okay July 28th of 2022 this is this year I started to feel like these weird period cramps um I, it wasn't anything intense. I didn't really have like bad period cramps when I wasn't pregnant and um, I did have my period and so they were just pretty mild um, but I had no idea. This is my first baby so I had no idea what um, like contractions felt like but I did tell my mom about these pains and she was like you could be in early labor. Thing of the 28th I kind of started to feel those cramps um, but nothing serious so I really wanted baby out because his due date was July 30th um, so this was two days before and basically I decided you know like I'm gonna go on a walk I'm going to eat some spicy things if you watched my video on how like me trying to induce my labor that's kind of what I was doing if you haven't seen that video you definitely go check it out but the night of the 28th and into the morning of the 29th so around like one or two I started to feel these like more intense period cramps. It was time, like obviously we were up late um, just because, I don't know, I wasn't really sleeping well at that time. I started to feel those cramps again and I noticed that um, there was one position that really brought those cramps on and I decided to stay in that position all night because I thought, okay, maybe this is progressing the labor. And so the position is basically, I'm going to try to do it with no hands, but basically you're laying on your side one leg your bottom leg is straight and your top leg is like at a 90 degree angle like like over to the side over your body and i put a pillow underneath it um and that position like i really started to feel things in that position so i just stayed in it and by the time like three o'clock came around i started to have period cramps like more intensely to where like i couldn't sleep through them and so at that point i kind of just decided like i kind of told myself okay I think I'm in early labor like this must be early labor because this is weird and I haven't felt this in my entire pregnancy but I was sitting on the side of the bed on my bouncy ball in the wee hours of the morning bouncing away and just trying to get him down into position and um, to progress the contractions and so throughout that night I had contractions that were pretty regular um, they were like seven to eight minutes apart and so I was like so excited. Um, the app told me, the contraction timing app told me to get ready to go to the hospital and everything and so I was so excited. I thought for sure that I was going to the hospital. But in the morning after a while I was like okay like I'm kind of not feeling anything. So I was like oh man like I don't think I'm actually in labor. I was really disappointed. Went back to sleep woke up the next morning i was still having these contractions but they weren't like as regular it would be like six minutes 12 minutes 15 minutes it would be like all over the place um so i decided to go on a two mile walk because i was like this baby needs to come out i am so tired of being pregnant at this point afterwards i still didn't really feel anything i went to the beauty supply store i did my eyelashes and um at that point like the contractions were picking up but they were not getting closer so they were picking up in, in intensity um i remember driving to the beauty supply store and i had to pull over during one of the contractions because it kind of like hurt pretty bad um it wasn't like debilitating it was just like i just didn't feel comfortable continuing to drive with the pain i decided mm, mm, i don't know me and my husband were like let's just call the nurse to see like what is going on and so we ended up calling the nurse and she was like um I mean like it definitely seems like you're in labor 
I'd say come in and get checked just because you're having bloody show just to make sure everything is okay with the baby and so I was like okay like but what if we come and like it's not like real like I don't know I just don't want to be driving all the way to the hospital preparing everything and like oops like nope you got to go back home so I was really nervous but we took our advice and we went to the hospital and basically we checked ourselves in um and by that point I remember walking in I got out of the car and I had to like hunch over um in the back seat when we got out because the contractions were like definitely picking up but again they just were not close checked ourselves in we went into triage and she checked my cervix and everything and she told me that I was six centimeters dilated and from all of the labor and delivery vlogs that I saw you had to only be like three or four I think to get admitted to the hospital or go up to like the labor and delivery floor so I was shook I was so shook I had no idea that I had like labored at home until six centimeters I thought like okay this is going to be a super quick birth like I mean like it's it hasn't even been that bad the pain has not been that bad and like I don't know I just thought wow I can do this I can totally do this my goal was to do a natural birth no medication and so I just felt really encouraged in that moment that like wow I'm handling this well girl here comes the good part okay at about two hours I made it to like six to seven or like I was at well like an hour later they checked me again and I was at like six to seven centimeters um and then by like two to three hours I was at eight centimeters and then um like after like four I was at a nine and at that point from like six to eight centimeters I it was I, like I was in pain but it wasn't horrible I could definitely still manage the pain um but once I got to like nine centimeters and this was probably around like nine um and so I got to nine centimeters and I was like oh my gosh I'm almost done this is so exciting and then every hour after that I continued to be checked and I stalled at nine centimeters which if you could imagine it was the worst pain like I can't even describe it it was just like a really really intense period cramps but like oh like it was so bad it was so bad um and like your stomach is just tightening and I remember I would try every position I tried sitting up on a ball and bouncing through the contractions I tried on all fours I tried laying over the bed and like swaying back and forth um what did help is the nurse and my husband would do like hip squeezes um that helped but ultimately I found that walking and pacing back and forth and kind of swaying my hips standing up really helped me get through it um but anyways I was at nine centimeters and I stalled and every hour after that just, she kept saying nine centimeters nine centimeters and after like two and a half hours of being at nine centimeters I was like I looked at my husband and I was like I want the epidural and I had told him before this that like if I talked about getting the epidural do not let me get it like I'm not going to be in my right mind like please don't let me get it I don't want it I want to do this naturally and so he was like no babe you got this you can do this like we're not gonna you know you, you don't want to do this you want to do it naturally right like that was your goal and I looked at him and I said no like I want the epidural and he's like no babe you got it let's try a little bit longer you're almost there you're almost there I was like okay okay I could do this so for another hour I labored another hour okay checked again nine centimeters I was like oh my gosh at this point I remember it was like 10 10 10 o'clock and I was like okay like 
I'm not progressing and like I'm not gonna do this get the guy the anesthesiologist and I want the epidural now um, the guy came in I was like I think I can do this like I'm gonna try like I want to do a natural birth check me one more time maybe maybe I'm ready to push I feel pressure check me one more time and she checked me and she was like I'm sorry but you're still you're still at nine basically she's like okay well it's gonna take like 30 minutes so I had to labor for another 30 minutes at nine centimeters and finally the anesthesiologist came into the room and he's like making all of this small talk I remember and he's like well how was your day today how are you doing like oh you're having your first boy like I remember when I had my first boy blah 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 and I was literally just like sitting there like please stop talking and just give me this freaking needle in my back okay like please hurry up <laughs> and so you know you have to sit still through the contraction and that was difficult but I just sat there and I was like breathing and like blowing it all out okay I believe the issue was my cervix was just not in the right position um I remember her saying that his head is right there like he's trying to come down but instead of my cervix being like lined up with the canal it was it was tilted backwards and so he couldn't like come down because my cervix was tilted back that's the best way that I can explain it um and so at that point I was like you know what I'm I'm done I'm I'm done like bring him in here so he came in had to sit still he gave me the needle my my husband said the needle was so large so large um but at that point I didn't care and basically after a while it was it was like almost immediate he said that he gave me something to where it happened faster because I was at nine centimeters um and so almost immediately like I I felt nothing um from the waist down um and yeah the nurse said that you know like try to take a little nap so I tried to nap and for uh, like 30 45 minutes later I was like, I feel like I really need to use the bathroom. And she was like, nope, that means you're ready to push. And I was like, okay. And it was so peaceful because it was just the nurse and my OB and my husband and I in the room. And I was pushing and, and they made sure I was pushing correctly. And I think in about 30 to 35 minutes, I had my baby. I pushed them out and it was so awesome it was the best thing ever he was six pounds 12 ounces and um yeah it was it was wild because I definitely did not want the epidural and I was I was against it because you know I really wanted the most natural experience um I all of the things oh my gosh I totally forgot this when I checked in from the hospital, she said, you're six centimeters dilated, but since your contractions are so far apart, like, we're going to admit you, but you may need to take Pitocin or get your water broke to start the contractions to get, like, to make them get closer. And I was against that. Like, I canceled my induction, which I'm going to do another video about because I just didn't, I didn't feel right about it personally. Um, and so I did not want Pitocin at all. I was a little bit open to having my water broken just because my mom had said that she had to do that with all three of her children and her water never broke. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll do that. But, um, when I got up there, I labored for about an hour and I was still at a six. Um, and so she was like, do you want to get your water broken? And I was so back and forth about it, but ultimately I decided to do it and I think that was a mistake because my contractions intensified, intensified times 10 immediately. It was so rough and I think just rushing my body into the process of laboring and making it happen sooner and quicker I think it was a mis it was just a bad idea because I labored at home to six centimeters and it did not hurt that bad. I think if I would have just let my body do its thing, I think it would have been a more natural progression. And um, I don't know. I just don't think that the contractions would have been as bad as soon. I mean, I had really bad contractions for like four hours, like unbearable contractions for four hours. I was it was horrible and so next time 
I thought that laboring at home, when she said I was six centimeters, I thought, okay, great. Like that's how long I wanted to labor at home. But if you're watching this and you are about to go into labor and you're almost at your due date, I think let it, let it happen at home. I think just ride the wave. And for me, I wish I would have just kept going at home until the contractions were just like, like I couldn't really bear it. I wanted to get there so that I didn't have the baby at home or on the road. And I don't think I would have ever gotten to five minutes apart, but I could have waited longer at home and been more comfortable. I think it would have been a lot better. So that's my advice. Um, I was really against the epidural, but at the end of the day, I'm proud of myself for giving birth and for laboring until nine centimeters. I know that there's no award that you get for, you know, like having your baby the natural way, which I, you know, I don't know. I truly believe that now. And there's no shame in getting the epidural. I think, honestly, I had such a good experience that I might get it earlier next time. I don't know. I think I'm going to take another shot at doing a natural birth, but I'm definitely not going to feel bad if I do end up getting the epidural again. Um, but yeah, that is how it went. It was so wild and I am so happy to have him, but I also kind of miss being pregnant. So if you're pregnant right now, enjoy it and just ride the wave man like because it is amazing to have him but the sleep that you get when you're pregnant right now and just like you know the time that you have for yourself is like is amazing so soon you're gonna have a baby which is like the best thing ever but it's also so difficult and in my next video i'm gonna be talking about postpartum and how it's been having a newborn and all of the things so I hope you like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed it. My husband just brought me some lunch, so it's time for me to go. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any like concerns or comments or anything at all, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and me and Denton are gonna go. Both of us have to eat, so I have to feed him while I eat my lunch. But let me give you a little snapshot of my baby. Look at him, his eyes are open now. He's so sweet. He's so sweet, I love him so much. But I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye.